Hello guys and welcome to Video Bits, the video blog with bits of information about video technologies and digital media technologies. As I learn them, as I start my career in the video industry, I want to pass them on to you guys because maybe it will help you out. So the other day I finally figured out how to be able to use the X264 QuickTime Components presets. I had read in blogs that it came with presets but I didn't really know how to use them and couldn't actually find them. Uh, maybe it's a bit of a, a blonde moment on my part there, but I did figure out how to how to find them and how to use them, and I want to show you guys in case you're wondering as well. So I'm going to open up Apple Compressor. You don't have to use Apple Compressor to use the X264 QuickTime component if you're exporting, just say, out of QuickTime Pro, that uh, you'll get the same options as well. So I'm going to drag a, a setting up here. I'm going to navigate to my video settings, choose the X264 encoder, and open up the options dialog box and this is unique to the X264 QuickTime encoder. So we got all these settings here. The first time I opened it it looked like I was looking at something in another language. I still don't understand what all these options are, what they do, how they affect your video. I'm trying to learn and maybe that will be a future screencast. But there are presets that can help you and I finally figured out where they are and how to use them. So I'm going to click load preset. And for the longest time, I only ever noticed this iPod default, iPod tuned, and then the two component options as well. Now, iPod is, is pretty self-explanatory. Component, I didn't really understand what that meant. And that simply refers to making your video play back on Mac or PC. So whereas the iPod will obviously make your video playable on the iPod, component will allow your video to play back on Mac and, and PC machines here. The default versus the tuned, the default will encode a little faster but your video won't be as great as quality the tuned settings the encode will take a little longer and the video will be a little bit higher quality so those are the only four I noticed for the longest time and for some reason I just never noticed this use library native preset slash tune if you expand this box a little bit open up this X264 preset and you get all these different presets and the first time I found this I was like wow this is what people are talking about now the developer a Jap who is a, a Japanese developer my comet G3 only recommends using fast medium or slow so I'm gonna click slow here and you can also select a X264 tuning uh, tuning option so say you have a, a 24 frame uh, HDSLR video here, you can go ahead and choose film to add, uh, that'll change some settings inside uh, all these settings. To be honest, I don't really know, I haven't played around with that as I don't shoot uh, D HDSLR, but if you do, go ahead and choose the, the film option. But I'm going to choose the slow preset, I'm going to click OK, and you'll see it changed a whole bunch of options here for me. Now the important ones being your, your B-frame strategy, so it changes that to optimal, which is, which is good, and your reference frames, which are, are five, and that's how many frames ahead the, uh, the encoder looks to, to uh, encode the, the current frame. So those are uh, pretty good, well-recommended options, and, uh, but now you have your, these uh, options all laid out for you in a way that's going to produce a great looking quality video. You don't have to go through and individually tweak each option and adjust all the options in all the uh, all the different windows here but for now let's just choose slow we'll hit OK choose uh, automatic keyframes and automatic data rate bump this up to high click OK and then you'd be all set to go and uh, submit your video there now in my test slow versus fast uh, not a real huge difference to be honest um, you know I was testing out a, a 10 second uh, DVC Pro HD 720 clip and uh, the slow took about a minute 40 the fast took a minute a minute 10 minute 20 so really not a huge difference between fast and slow so so I would go ahead and use slow to uh, produce your optimum videos Alright guys, so a little bit of information there for you. I was excited about it. Hopefully if you've been searching for these presets, you now know where they are.